Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at arrays in Visual Basic .NET. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to declare an array. So the first thing is inside your main subroutine, simply create your array by using dim for declare in memory. And here, let's say my name and I use this bracket and add number to specify how long this array will hold a particular set of string characters. So add string, okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply show you the limit of my array with my name dot length, okay. And here, let me just properly close this, okay? And then use console.read and save it. And if I release this, then in console, you will find that length of my array is four. The reason it is four is because I specified number three, but indexing of our array starts from zeroth position instead of first position so 0 1 2 and 3 these are total four positions that are recorded so the length of our array is 4 okay now let's write something in our array and let's just see how it outputs that okay now let me just start by writing my name and on zeroth position, let's use hey, then my name, first position, and use hey Devnami, then my name, second position, I want to add Devnami user, and then my name, then third position. Here I'm going to use welcome. Okay. Now I'm going to iterate through each element from array. So for that, I'm going to use for each element as string in array. Okay. Now here I'm going to use console.write line and here I'm going to use element. Okay, now for our for loop should have this next keyword so that it will iterate through. Okay, so We will execute this in before that we will simply see for each element as string in array we have to specify which array so here my name okay now if I run this then it should show you each element one by one as you can see hey devnami user welcome okay so what we did so far is we created one string array added few elements in each position of that array and then used for each loop to output the content of that array okay similarly we can also do the same with integer array simply start with dim and then use this array notation call for as sorry integer then I'm gonna use some position 10 30 then 50 total 3 so I have array of 3 
and I'm going to use for each element let's make it short as integer in array I named my array so I can use this array as is then use console dot right line and here use element and we have already used this next next keyword that will take us from one element after another and also use console dot read to pause the output so let's run this and check the output of our integer array so we get each element printed one by one as you can see first 10 then 30 and then 50 so what we have seen so far is how to declare the array how to calculate its length how to add specific characters and numbers in position of array and then how to iterate through array and print its content so this was a short introduction on arrays in visualbasic.net